recognized early on that there's a tremendous amount of geochemical code in these meteorites that could tell us about the planet. And of course, one of the first pieces of code we want to know is when did the, the rock, if this is a piece of rock from Mars, when did that form? And there was multiple answers, uh, everything from 4 billion years to 200 million years. But no one really knew which was the correct answer. These are really rare uh, materials. We only have about 60 pieces of Mars that have uh, been knocked off Mars by meteorite impacts and landed, made their way to Earth to be recovered here for study. Originally they didn't know which planet they were from until someone looked and there was these tiny glassy areas within the meteorite and those are formed uh, from the energy of ejection when the meteorite is knocked off another planet. And it turns out they trapped little bits of uh, gas which have the same composition as the Martian atmosphere. Now, our real contribution here from the ZAP lab is we use different techniques that haven't been combined before. So we use the old geochemical techniques plus some new microstructural techniques with electron beams here at Western. And uh, we've shown that it's actually the young age that's correct. These rocks are crystallized from a, a lava flow on Mars about 200 million years ago. tells us that there's something special about Mars, that, that there's four billion year old material deep in Mars that was melted to form this very young magma. So it tells us two things, there's still a young volcanism, giant volcanoes on Mars, still active to the recent past, and then there's some very ancient reservoir hidden beneath Mars that we didn't know about. Ultimately, these questions about studying extraterrestrial bodies link into where we come from and life in the solar system. Knowing the dynamics of the solid Mars and how that worked is part of understanding whether or not there, there was a life system there. Now, basically, the inner solar system is our oyster. We have uh, hundreds of meteorites that we can apply this technique to, and we are applying to, both from uh, asteroids um, beyond Mars to pieces of the moon and it's also useful uh, on Earth materials.